What's up everyone, Kawaiku here, here to react to episode 10 of the time I got reincarnated as a slime season 3. Last episode we left off, Diablo pays a visit to the kingdom of Falamuth and Mars Viscounty. I totally didn't have to look that up for clarification. Uh, but yeah, he tried to be diplomatic to the king, but the king just wasn't having it. And he tried to stick some demon hunters, like demon slayers against Diablo. But... This is Diablo we're talking about. He's not like the other demons. And of course, the so-called demon hunters were not able to do shit against Diablo. Diablo was able to make quick work, work of them. And then, saw, afterwards, Sade and Glenda tried to fight and defeat Diablo. But they weren't able to do it much either. In fact, uh, after seeing what Diablo is capable of, Glenda pretty much just hightailed it out of there. She ran, she ran away. She pretty much said, fuck this shit, I'm out. Leaving Sare to fight Diablo all alone. And we saw Sare just, you know, doing everything he can. Just swinging his sword, doing everything he, he can to try and at least, like, hurt Diablo. But it was, but, of course, he wasn't able to do, that didn't come to fruition. Diablo didn't even break a sweat. Nothing was effective against him. And where the last episode left off was, well, we picked up right where the episode after, before that left off, which was Hinata uh, clinging to life basically with that hole in her chest. And the seven clergy emerged to confront both Diablo and Rimuru. They have apparently, we got three of them uh, meeting Rimuru and Hinata and three of them meeting Diablo. So, yeah, they have officially shown themselves and they are now actively uh, facing off against our protagonists. So, yeah, let's see how that goes. And that, without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, everyone, here we go. Episode 10 of the Time I Got Reconnected as Slime Season 3. Oh, man. These fucking seven clergy fuckers. Oh! Was him? Oh, okay. Of course. Oh, this going to be good. I feel like Rio didn't really need proof that the seven that the seven clergy killed Rayheim, but <laughs> I guess it doesn't it always helps to make sure. Are we gonna see some white cloaks being stained red? 
Eh, I'm sure you could talk it all. I'm sure you could talk it over with Luminous Slater, right? Yeah, eh, yeah, wait, yeah. Luminous is part of the, uh, holy shit, I already forgot the name of the group. The, 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 the Octogram, right? He's part of the demon, she's part of the Demon Lord group, the same group that Rimuru's in, right? Yeah, they can, they, they can just talk it out, right? Afterwards, right? Once again, that cliche villain laugh. Says the fuckers that wear veils over their faces. Revise Hercules Edge. Oh! <laughs> uh, pretty much. Yeah, you're gonna need to eat up all them lasers. Oh! <laughs> oh, come on, just be thankful Raphael did something. Y'all could talk about this later. Oh, fuck. Not another disintegration. Absolute god. Absolute guard. <laughs> Not even a scratch on him. Of course they're ugly behind the veil. Yeah, definitely not like the last time Rimuru almost got disintegrated. Pearly Gates. Oh, Luminous herself.
Yeah, something tells me she's not there to support those seven clergy folk. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. The, the name is Seven Clergy, there's only six of them. Or has that been that way since the beginning? I feel like there should be a seventh person. I, I could be wrong. Maybe the seventh person is luminous? Well, nice to know the ban nice to know the bystanders aren't uh injured or evaporated. Ah, what a time they live in where they have to beg a demon for protection. I love how as he was beg getting down on his knees and begging for forgiveness, the crown falls off. And even better, he says so not as a king, but as a humble man. As if he's forsaking his... The symbolism is clearly there. That's not intentional. He's obviously forsaking his loyalty. His, his royalty. Another, yeah, another Trinity thing. Diablo not even moving a muscle. I think that's the least of your worries. Certainly one way to go at that's that's certainly one way of disposing of them. What do you say? He quite literally took out the trash. He literally turned them into trash. Yes, God is a woman, and she is cute. Yeah. 
Bro, those seven clergy dudes have to be punishing. She has good. She has to punish those seven clergy dudes, considering how much she cares about Hinata. Oh shit! Hinata's past life. Oh, what? Wow. Damn, love is a crazy thing. After, I mean, Mama's heart still broke after what the father did to her. Man. Wait. So the great sage slash Raphael spoke to her too. Wow. I mean, I guess it makes sense for Rimu to not be the only one. Nice. How long have you been there? How long has Shizu been there? Just came out of nowhere. You know, before the whole, uh, you know, before Hinata's home life was revealed, I was like, damn, I, I was thinking to myself, damn, it must suck, just minding your own business and all of a sudden you're just abducted from your world and moved on to the next, with no warning. Then again, uh, Hinata's home, Hinata's, uh, earth life, her home life was, uh, yeah, it was pretty shitty too. But then again, she went from, she basically went from one shitty situation to another. So, it's deb I think it's debatable. I mean, at the at first, it seemed debatable as to if her situation really improved. But now it most definitely is. So, in other words, yeah, basically what I'm saying is, yeah, she was probably better off in this world than back in Earth. Being her... Abducted was a good thing. <laughs> Man! <laughs> Quite the opposite, actually. Rimu, uh, you better hope that Shion and Shuna didn't hear all that. All according to Keikaku.
Damn! I heard some fairly unpleasant sounds when they were being disintegrated. So, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that all the members of this... Well, I'm assuming all the members, maybe all the members, of the Seven Clergy, uh... Yeah, they did, uh... They did meet very pleasant fates. <laughs> I don't know what I'd rather have. Which fate I'd rather have. Being crushed to death into like a ball? Or having my skin and bones being disintegrated? I knew there had to be a seventh member. The situation being used on them. Taste of their own medicine. Nice. Man, I just love how much Lei Hinata is respected. Man alone, holy fuck. Jesus Christ. Okay, whatever. Poor Veldor, we have not seen it. I don't think we see him get into any action yet. Oh shit!
Damn. Poor Veldora again, the Team Rocket treatment. Veldora's blasting off again. Well, that's one hell of a way to, uh... <laughs> Present the e new ED visuals. Nice. 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 So I'm guessing after this, um, it's gonna go. It's gonna go right back to the calm of things. Oh my God, Luminous looking hella cute in, in that hot spring wear with her hair tied up and everything. And Albus getting drunk off her ass once again. <laughs> yeah, because it definitely seemed like, uh, you know, now that the seven clergy have been dealt with, um, it seems like we're. I have a feeling we're going to get back into another, like, calmer episode or two. Yeah, the next episode is called Reconciliation and Agreement. That definitely doesn't sound like a. An episode where a lot of like, with a lot of tension and a lot of action. Which I want to make very clear, I don't mind those types of episodes. I'm not some fucking shonen junkie that constantly looks for action and fight scenes and all that. I am perfectly fine with episodes that are calmer and have world building and, you know, just, and dialogue. I understand their purpose. Uh, in this series. I want to make that very clear. Um, but, uh, yeah, overall, a very entertaining episode of The Time I Got Reincarnated Out of Slime, Season 3. I, I mean, I wanted to see those seven clergy fuckers get their just desserts, and that's exactly what happened. This season... This series delivered on that front. Especially with Luminous herself. The god that these seven clergy fuckers have worshipped and put on such a high pedestal. She was the one that dispatched of those three. She herself dispatched of those three. And it was pretty great. Although they did made a... This, even though they made a, they made a very uh, gruesome fate. Honestly, that one dude that got fucking disintegrated, I, th I feel like he, uh... I, yeah, I definitely feel like he he got the easiest fate out of all the seven clergy members. He probably had the less, the, the least painful death. Which is funny, considering he got pretty, pretty much completely disintegrated. Um... But yeah, also it is nice to see that Hinata uh, is still alive. She, she did not get killed off, as I have feared. And it's not that nice that she is still around. Also, it looks like uh, the plan to make Yom, like the, the, the king, like the ruler of Falmouth or something like that. It looks like that has been officially being put, it looks like at least it's been officially being put into action. It is moving forward now that the the king, well, was a king Edward himself, has uh, agreed to that arrangement. So yeah, interesting to see where that goes. And we got more of that fucking uh, the, the old man and his fucking granddaughter. 
Still not exactly sure who he is. But it looks like they're going to once again be another antagonist that's going to try and take on Rimuru and the gang. Like I said, people in this world just really... I get it. I get it. You know, I get it. The series needs to have tension, needs to have action and all that. But still, these people just need to leave Rimuru alone, man. I mean, you think by now, like, Rimuru is not going to do any harm. Well, I mean, like, he is not going to do any, any harm unless he is provoked. And yet, these, these two, or that group that they're in, still insists on wanting to provoke Rimuru. Like, it, 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 like it's not, it's starting to make less and less sense to me. Whatever. Like I said, at the end of the day, I know why it needs to happen. Well, I, I know why stuff like that needs to happen. Also, we haven't... Uh, I'm, I'm still wondering where Yuki is. Because we saw him back in, like, what? The first two episodes of Season 3, and then we never saw him again. So I'm still wondering when he's going to come back into play. Well, we still got quite a bit of this two-core season left, so... I think anything could happen. Well... Yeah, I think anything could happen uh, during this two-core season of the time I got reincarnated as Slime Season 3. Uh, but yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys next time.